Alright, welcome back. This is take three of the intro because I did do a couple things each time. And last time I was lost. This time I'm still pretty lost. I'm gonna hit this though. I didn't expect that. I thought like an item was gonna pop out. Please give me something good. Please. Whoa. Whoa! I don't know what's happening. I did not expect that. I saw a little shaky roof. Or the coffin lid. I was like, oh, let me bust this open. Maybe there's an item or something. I'll start the episode with that and... Whatever, but this game keeps doing this thing where you're like, let me check this out. Real quick. And it turns into something. Hopefully he doesn't fall on me if he's up there. At least you can hear them. Oh, oh, oh my god, I was not... I was not ready for that guy. Like, the last thing I want to see is that asshole. I'll take the Geo. Oh, there he is. He's right there. You like my nail? You like my extended range? You bitch? <laughs> What's that achievement? Uh, is that all of them? Let's see. I don't think it's all of them. It's probably like half. Let's open the... Rescue half? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Steam. Alright. So now we know that we only have half of those. And I'm wondering what the fuck this place is. It's like the world that time forgot at the bottom of the crypt. A lot of geo, this is just a nice treasure room. Gotta keep our eye out for this this breakable stuff. They make it pretty obvious. But you could have snuck up on No, this is an exit. There's light up there. Where's this going? This isn't on the map either. You know, there's no indication over there, but it is. It's not like it's well hidden. You know, in the corner there's a breakable. I can't look down. In the corner there's a breakable coffin. You know, so they didn't super try and hide it. You can see the infections spread over here too. This is where we came down. There he is. Come over here, I can't hit you through this. And a little frame drop right there. Got to make sure I take one more pass. Oh! No! I couldn't even get down fast enough, god. Alright, that's twice that they've done that to me. I need to be aware that they like to hide the bomb birds up above you off screen. Which I'm starting to run out of soul, so I don't know how we're going to survive the next couple. So we have two ways out of here. There's the left, and then there's the up. Uh... I'm assuming the left is a shorter thing, because if you look, if we go all the way to the right and then up, because it was on the other side of this thing, there's more space, so maybe it's nothing major over here. Did I have this? Oh no, that was a... Uh... That was a normal, like, wood support, wasn't it, that blocked this wall, so I couldn't open it from that side. I'm pretty sure. I have not edited that video yet, so I don't know what the, uh, the circumstances are. Which, I'm starting to get back ahead of my, my editing curve. I'm about to edit 24 after this, and this is 31, so I caught up. And that's good for the viewer, I feel like, and then 
Whoa! What was this, and why didn't I see it before? Where did I go? Did I go up and... There's another... Wow! Okay. Yeah. Just had to make sure it wasn't a... A secret way down or something. I tried to jump, the frame dropped. I heard the sound, the frame dropped when it opened up. I was definitely aware of it though. There's another one over here. Whoa! I mean, I heard him, but I thought he was farther away. I didn't think he'd come running out of this. And he's probably here to show me that this is a thing. It's like large soul of a forgotten knight or something right there. No bomb birds. Let's test for the bomb bird. Soul eater? This looks like another shaman. Okay. You got it. Uh, charms. Forgotten charm and artifact used to draw soul from still living creatures. Greatly increase the amount of soul gain. And striking an enemy with a nail. Wasn't there already something like that? Didn't they give us something? Look at these are starting to get powerful too. Four slots. We bought that from the merchant dude. Wasn't there right here? That's two, and that's four. This has to like fill me up when I slap it once or something, which that might be better later on than. The, uh. What is it? Then the range increase. I could see a world where. Extra soul is good. And I like that. You do have potential for, you know. Uh, character builds doing that kind of stuff. It's pretty fun. I'm really scared right now. I don't know what this is. Okay. Where are we? Oh, there's just another side of the resting grounds. Okay. I like these little random discoveries into interesting areas, not this random discovery in a giant scary boss deal. She had all that dust on her. Ah, Mehon. What? This world, this cruel, sinful world, why does she wake? Why does... Is that supposed to be a Kshay? Why does she persist? Yeah, lemmers, that's supposed to... I don't know what that is. You could... What? Oh my god, reading. You could not know of tragedy as complete as she's true lovers stripped apart. Two worlds that could not meet. I know I'm supposed to probably be given this some kind of accento. And I'm not, and I'm sure someone's mad at me. And now, Mallard Lover, dead so long in time, dead so far away, buried. Moina? Moina! Moira! I. Amongst its hateful kin that did deny our union, that did reject Shay's outsideness. So she was getting married. That looks like a, a wedding dress, obviously, and it says mourner, so maybe, I don't know, maybe. They wear white instead of black at funerals. And they're talking about... What is it, uh... Their union was rejected, so whatever marriage was happening wasn't allowed. She doesn't suppose... Nalo, Nalo. <laughs> could she ask, could she burden? Lemur. Wouldst you, couldst you deliver gift to her grave? Or is this the groom? Or are they just really progressive? I'm down for all of it. The gift is maybe small, but the trek is long. She rests amongst her kind near our queen's lush refuge. Would such a thing be done? She asks 
perhaps impossible things, mad things. For Lemur to take up such quest would be a kindness Shay has ne'er forgotten. Near forgotten. I like how it defaults to no. I almost want to say no just to see what the dialogue is and then pick it up and see if it does like a Dark Souls deal, but I'm not going to risk it. Rare boon, you grant Lemur. It'll be Shay's last request. After this, never shall Shay lay burden on another. Sacred flower is the offering. It is rare, or it is a rare, delicate object, one of a kind. You must cherish it. You must act as though it were your own heart. If you're... Oh. Shit. It's surrounded by her kind. No, can I return this? I'm not ready to take this. Hey, can I give it back? What if I get hurt? Like, can I get another one? They said one of a kind. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this, dude. I actually want to reset my game right now. Because I'm not... <laughs> I'm not ready to take whatever this is. I don't. No wonder it defaulted to no. Oh god. I don't know where. They're saying the queen. The only queen thing I can think of is the, uh. the queen station. But I don't think I can get there without taking one damage. Instead, I can't ride any jostling beasts either. Can I ride a tram? I don't know. I'm actually going to close out of this because I don't want to take this thing. And I'll see you guys back here in a hot second. I saved right outside, so I'll still talk to the mourner and then I'll decline and see what happens. Alright, let's try this again. Incoming, me saying no, and then the person going. Oh man, no one will ever do this, and then, you know, then I ruin it again, and I have to restart a third time. Shay should have expected such. This world is not one favors, not one of favors, only heartache. Okay. Alright. You know, if I can find a way to not be total garbage at the game, and I will be happy to take that. And when they say one of a kind for the item, maybe, maybe it's not that far. So they're talking about the graves. All right, let's think. Maybe it's not as far as I'm assuming, because they're saying the queen's kind or whatever. Right? I have to double check the dialogue because I already forgot it. They're saying that kind of stuff. Maybe it's, uh... My initial assumption was the Queen Station, but maybe it's just, like, in the other part of the... the resting grounds. Because they were talking about a grave, not just... Ooh, man. They're talking about a grave, not just, uh... What is it? Actually, that's it. They're talking about graves. And all the graves are above me, basically. And if it's that short of a trek, I can easily do that, so we'll see. I'm sure someone's gonna light me up in the comments, like, it's actually not that hard, Shelfie. You're just a fucking... Just a little, uh... Little pansy bitch. Just take it here, like, I could've just took it right here, and it would've been done. There's not the... Ooh, man, that was some, some darkness. Up there. No, please, don't fall. So you could be there, or it could be, what is it, up here, where they have all the, the other graves above me. You know, you know what, since we're here, let's actually go through there. Have I hit this a second time? Pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. Pretty sure I've hit that like three times now. So let's see what's going on here. I don't have to fight all the ghosts. What's up? Under my watch, treat them with respect and you may remain. 
Oh man, that's a creepy sword. Buy my cookies. There, I told you they're cookies. I told you. Beware your own mind, little one. Twisted minds breed dark deeds, and mine was more twisted than most. I thought it would be my end, but instead I found this glade, and with it a sort of peace. Might have read yours before. Do you think dark thoughts, little one? When hidden behind a visage of, or as impassive as your own, I find it hard to tell. I know, right? Once I've sold them all, I can go home. No! That's so sad, though. They never sold all the cookies. Rip. Anything? No. So what I'm assuming is if I decide to slap these with the dream nail, the uh, the grave warden comes after me or whatever. I used to help others. They were brought to me sick and dying. What difference did it make? Any victory against death will always be temporary. Damn, doctor. Laying the real shit down. Wait, oh, I didn't read that. Any victory against death, what a gloomy thought. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Alright, fucking Habble the rock bug. The rock beetle, don't fear, little creature. Though a violent rage once possessed me, the peaceful air in this place seems to keep it at bay. So I'm wondering... So, like, the, uh, the person outside sealed this place... So I guess that's protecting them from whatever shits in the air nearby. And I'm wondering if things are going to change now that he unsealed, or she? I can't remember. I think it had like a girl voice, but anyway. Now that this place has been unsealed, I wonder if that's going to change. My appearance should not cause you worry. Here I am truly at peace. A lot of warriors here. Are you a warrior, little one? A true warrior is one who can stand strong in the midst of a storm. Okay, thank you. What is that name? Seriously? Come on. It's a dialect I am not aware of. I was once put, er, obsessed with power, though my time within this glade has shed me of such desire. What folly it was to ever crave such a vicious thing. That you are seeking power is a hollow goal. The goal of a Hollow Knight? Best to search for other things? This looks like... Oh, what? 400 babies! We're always left with reminders of the errors we made. <laughs> Let your mistakes not burden you, but serve as guideposts on where to travel. Or where not to travel. This guy is taking that really literally if he's wearing you know the dead babies he's like I keep all the dead babies as reminders of how much I fucked up and it's like it's okay to leave those at the house you don't have to go into the public with the dead baby necklace I'm just saying these husks around my neck oh shit they're my precious friends always there to keep me company and much better for conversation than the rest of the odd lot around here Yep. Just gonna mosey on over here. <laughs> Just walking away. These these guys are getting more and more insane looking. How many swords do you need? Is Zoro your favorite character? Do you like my nails, little wonder? I can I carry only three, far less than legends may suggest. Hundred nail warrior. <laughs> uh, still, each is sharper than the last, and I require only one cut. Only one to cut you down. You need to meet Zote. Are you Zote's dad? Aren't my nails the most wonderful things? They're gleaming blades so sharp and deadly. I used to have four, but some little fucking twerp stole one of them. Are you admiring my fabulous markings? I'm of a distinguished species, you see. Though I've not seen another like me for the longest time. That is true. Looks like you're crying a little bit there. You don't seem to bear the markings of rank. Though you bear no markings of a lower form. What are you? Do tell me. Are you a higher being or just another lowly grub? I'm... We are the higher being, okay? The little stone things we read, they tell us, they say... Yo for... Cool dude, eyes only. 
Are you enjoying your time in our glade? I'd offer advice. Though, to have made it here, you're obviously quite adept at navigating our world and its perils. You're very impressive for such a small thing. I'm something of a warrior myself, though even I'd hesitate to... Yeah, hesitate to raise my nail against you. You would... Damn. Yeah, you'd probably get whooped. Don't fear my rotting form. Though my body sheds and changes, my core remains the same. Okay. Whoa. Hey, this is the Havel Beetle. Magnus Strong. That's a great name. Reminds me of when George Carlin's talking about manly names. He's like, you know, Spud Crowley or Chuck Steak. Those are, those are man's names. All of life's problems can be solved with crushing force. Such a simple mantra and one I've always lived by. Yeah, when you're that big, you probably crush everything. If you weren't so scrawny, I'd suggest you follow my example. Remember, tiny bug, crush your fears, crush your problems, crush your foes. It's uh, some good life advice. I was gonna say advice. Don't judge me by my appearance, though my stature is small. I bear a dark soul <laughs> and a tendency to go berserk in battle. Okay. You wouldn't have the guts. Oh, you. If the nice lady down there or whatever didn't threaten to kick the shit out of me, I'd, I'd consider it. Hark, fellow adventurer, are you heading out into the world? I join you, but it's been so long. I fear I'd lose my head. Lose your head. I'm envious of you. Facing this world without fear, I could stand to learn from your approach. Thanks. Watch out! I have an acidic touch and I wouldn't want you getting burned. It's a protection system of, of my kind, though something of a nuisance when it comes to meeting others. You got jokes. Don't get too close. I'd wish to not cause any harm. I'm gonna use that in real life. You know, because I want to be antisocial sometimes. I'm like, whoa, I got acidic touch. Gotta be careful, we don't, you know, I have kind of like acidic breath too, we don't need to talk. It's okay. I'll see you soon, she said. Though that was long ago. I wonder where she went. Go bother someone else. I wonder if that's... Is this like... I come by as Hornet in the Hornet playthrough? Which apparently isn't out yet. What if I come by like, with her? You know? I wonder if that's gonna be a thing. Crack that knuckle. Ah, a wonder. I've been many places and done a great many things, but I suspect you will outdo me by far. I've long ceased traveling the caverns of Hollowness, and I suspect they are now far more dangerous than in my journeys. Though if you're capable air, I'm sure you'll do fine. Good luck. It's a vast world out there. Thank you. You find it strange to see a moth wielding a weapon. We are a passive species, though I am not the only one amongst us to take up arms. Another braved the edges of the world, hoping to uncover a truth long forgotten. I wonder what became of him. Did we meet him yet? When we say the edges of the world, I'm assuming it's right here. So I don't know. I came from far away to reach this place, though my shell may seem foreign. Beneath it, I'm a bug the same as you. You too are a warrior, I see your nail. But your shell seems underdeveloped. In your current state, to travel a land as dangerous as this seems unwise. Hey, you wanna help me out? Give me uh, a stronger nail? Or stronger shell deal? Alright, hopefully... The gravekeeper person doesn't get mad at me for... Hitting the essence. This is a very cool area to see all this these interesting bug designs. Whoa, that that scared me. My shit jumped. It did it again. What the fuck is this happening? Or why is this happening? Oh god, scaring the hell out of me. Jump scaring me. Oh, 
Oh, I missed. No, I missed everything. Hopefully, there's enough to get freaking 700, so I don't have to go anywhere else to. What is it? Get the 700 upgrade. Use the analog stick for a minute, cause Steve has not, not having it right now. Oh, I wonder if you can go into that waterfall cave right there. I bet you, you can totally go in the waterfall cave, which is what we're gonna have to do after. And I didn't expect 20 minutes of running around talking to ghosts, so I apologize. But if you're sticking around, you're beautiful. Whoa! Oh, there are more. Yeah, we're gonna have enough to get the 700, which is fucking great. Touch it. Reach your hand out. <laughs> Damn. Oh, we have 700, though. Nice. wonder if I should speed this up. I'm considering it. What do you got for me? Sacred memories. Honored souls. That's it? I guess. Let's hug the wall here. And try and hit this. Yep, told you. Always stuff in the waterfall cave. Whoa. This is probably the thing I've been looking for the whole time. Nope, JK, King's Idol. Got some bunny looking dudes. Or something. And this is what's been creepy about this game so far, is they always have, like, giant versions of the shit in the back. And yeah, they just get bigger. Like, what are these? I don't know. Oh, we got the 700 essence. I think we hit it on the dot. Where's... My inventory's over there. 707. Pretty good. Next one's probably gonna be a thousand. I would assume. I almost wanted to super dash out here, but I was afraid. Oh no, I wanted to... right here. Let's not try and destroy too much of the sacred monuments. Alright, what do you got? I wonder whether the dreamers are watching you as you work. Or even that old king. I mean, two of them are gone. So, that lock of theirs, desperate but very clever. I wonder how long they thought it could hold. I hold no disdain. Yeah. For them, or yeah, for them though. Jesus. As history goes on, I grow numb of its repu or repetitions. I am... Oh man. All that reading. Getting tongue-tied now. And the seer is starting to seem like a bad guy. Or bad person, you know. Where you have a... It's like, here, go collect the session by killing valiant spirits and... Uh, the dreamers and whatever else, you know, go fuck with everything. I'm bored of history and the repetition, so it's kind of like Dark Souls where everything repeats. You know? And this one is just asking for chaos. This is Darkstalker Cath, I'm calling it. Take your gift and continue collecting essence. Once you have a thousand, come back and visit me. We're starting to run out of essence on the world too, dude. A soul vessel, you know what, I'll take it. Alright, I would have liked something else, but whatever and I think we're done basically we did a lot today in this one I didn't really get to talk about anything because I was talking about the or talking to the uh, the spirits for so long and I'm starting to consider uh, some outside help or something like that because um Oh man, I'm more tired than I thought. I'm going to take a break before I do the next one, but uh Yeah, I want to progress and I need the upward mobility, I think. But I don't know where it is, so I need to I need to find it and the game is so expansive that I could go and check every part of the map again, you know, every little nook and cranny and see what I miss, but Yeah. I need to take notes or something. Like, I need to actually have a notepad out in front of me while I'm doing this. Because I don't know where to go anymore. And I know that's part of the fun, but... Uh... 
I don't know. I don't want to keep spending, you know, episodes where I'm just running around doing nothing. So, I don't know yet. I'm probably not going to do it. I'm just going to spend probably like an hour or something and just checking all of these places again. Like, I want to check each of these, uh, you know, little tunnels or something and actually write down or something or like take a screenshot and make a note real quick and have like a little Hollow Knight folder going on so I know what the fuck everything is. I don't remember what this is. I know that these two over here, or these three or whatever, this is all Fog Canyon. I don't know what that is. But anyway, we're done. Next time, hopefully some progress. I'm really trying. I just don't know where to go. So that's why the last three episodes have been just running around. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.